Hello my friends, Henry Olson here. Friday morning, 8.30 a.m. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna teach you, or I'm actually gonna answer a question from Julie, and Julie's question is, do I need to learn scales, and what's the best way to go about it? So I'm gonna be talking about that, but before I do, I'm going to sign some books. All right, so those of you who have not yet joined Super Simple Guitar, you should know that every single new All Access member gets a free copy of this book shipped to them. And every Friday what I do is I autograph them, I leave a personal little note in there, and then I pack them up and send them out. Quick little side note about this pen. I wanna tell you just a little story. So before I became a professional guitar teacher and online teacher and one-on-one -on -one teacher and all this stuff, I worked in a factory. And this is the pen that I used in that factory. I still have it and it still works really well. And now I'm using this exact same pen to write down the addresses for these books that I now get to ship all around the world, okay? So the point of the story is that um, I'm not special. I'm not anything better than anybody else. I just was able to take my passion for playing the guitar and turn it into what I do now. And the message is that you can do the same. No matter what position you're in now, maybe you love your job, which is great, but no matter if you don't, it's possible for you to take what you're doing now, follow your passion, and really become what it is that you feel in your heart you really can become, okay? It was the same for me. So. Quick little side note about this pen. So you can do this too, is what I'm trying to say. All right, let's get into the lesson. All right, so let's get right into it. So Julie's question was um, how to start learning scales and when it is even appropriate to begin learning scales, right? So Julie, and for everybody watching, I would say start learning scales once you are able to play chord progressions and feel really comfortable playing through different progressions and strumming along, even singing along, right? So you wanna be up to a level where you feel comfortable on the instrument. You're not a total beginner yet, okay? If you still can't switch through chords or play through like basic songs, it might be early for you to start um, wanting to play scales and improvising, right? So if you are able to do that, and when you're able to do that, then I would say get started with what we call the pentatonic scale, okay? And that's what I'm gonna teach you in this lesson. So the pentatonic scale is basically the most basic scale that you can learn on an instrument, whether it's guitar or any other instrument, and it's the easiest way to get started with scales and with improvising, right? So the reason we learn scales one of the main reasons is to be able to improvise and play freely and really be able to um, be creative with notes on the instrument, right? That's why you want to learn scales, right? Just so you know why to even learn them. So the pentatonic scale goes like this. It has five notes in it. So one, two, three, four, five, and then it repeats. One, two, three, four, five, and so on, right? So. The shape goes like this. I'm starting on the third fret, and I'm gonna be calling these fingers number one, number two, number three, and number four, right? So my first finger is number one, middle finger two, three, and four, right? So starting on the third fret, we're gonna be going one, four, right? And each finger has its own fret assigned to it, right? So four is always gonna be on the sixth fret, and three is always gonna be on the fifth fret, okay? All right, so really slowly, one, six, right? Sixth fret, I mean, or fingers, sorry, fingers. One, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. And then you're just gonna wanna go back. Four, one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, okay? All right, 
You're gonna to wanna to get that under your fingers a little bit, right? Feel comfortable playing it. And then what I want you to do is go into YouTube and just type in G minor backing track, right? Because we are now playing the pentatonic scale in the key of G minor, okay? Or A sharp major, but we're gonna be calling it G minor, okay? If you want to go deeper with this stuff, in my solo guitar course, which is included in the All Access membership, I teach all of this. So why it's called G minor, how to play it in A minor, how to apply different scales to different chord progressions, how that all lines up. So if anybody wants to go deeper into scales and learning how to improvise, I teach all of that within the All Access membership. Okay, just so you guys know, it's, it's available, right? But for now, just know that this is the G minor scale and you're gonna wanna play to a G minor chord progression, right? And that backing track in YouTube is going to provide chords that are in the key of G minor. Again, I explain all of this in more detail. Okay, but for now, this is just the shortcut without any understanding of why and when and anything, right? So now you know the scale go into YouTube and you're gonna see very quickly that when you play this scale and you turn on that backing track, that chord progression of G minor, every single note that you play is going to be in harmony with that music, right? So you're gonna be harmonically um, perfect sounding when you play to that backing track, okay? So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just slowly play to it, go up and down with the scale, maybe try to get a little bit creative, play some melodies, try to, you know, be musical with it. And then that's how you're gonna get started with improvising, right? So Julie, I would say that's your first step to improvisation, your first step to learning scales. Now, of course, scales, can you can go deeper with them. So we just learned the first shape of the pentatonic scale. There is a second shape, there's a third shape. There's five shapes all together, right? And then it repeats itself. So you can go deeper in this and I do have a system if you wanna continue learning with me where I teach this all step by step. So that's out there if you're interested. But if not, then just have fun with this scale, play along to that backing track and then um, let me know how it goes. Email me again, and then I will maybe do a follow-up lesson where we can maybe even do a case study showing what you've done so far, then work on that some more, okay? All right, guys and girls. I always say guys, but I mean to say guys and girls. I don't want to discriminate. So boys and girls, guys and gals, or however you say it, um, that's my little lesson here on scales. I hope that this has been helpful. Julie, let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you and seeing your progress. And that's about that. So Henry Olson here. Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, give me a thumbs up. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe. And um, I'll see you really soon with a new video. All right. Take it easy. Bye-bye.